Hi guys, this is Mohammed P, a tutor at Check.com. Today we are talking about chain rule. So chain rule gives us this ability to differentiate um, a function which is product of two other functions. So let's just start with the formula. So suppose that f of x is defined as function g of x times function h of x. And I would like to uh, differentiate f of x with respect to x. So f prime of x is going to be the derivative of the first function, which is g prime of x. And you multiply by the second function, h of x. And then you add this with the first function, which is g of x, times the derivative of the second one. So that's basically the chain rule. So chain rule is telling you to take the derivative of the first function and multiply it by the second function and then add the result with the first function times the derivative of the second function. So let's look at some uh, examples here. So I start with the basics one. So let us say f of x is equal 2x plus 5 times x cubed plus 2x plus 1. So there is another way to do this, in, uh, I mean, beside the chain rule. You can either multiply these two um, polynomials together. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's going to give you another polynomial, and then you use power rule to take the derivative. But instead of doing that, if I want to use chain rule, so f of prime of x is going to be equal. So I'm going to take the derivative of the first one. So I, first I write it down as a prime form. So 2x plus 5 prime times x cubed plus 2x plus 1. And then I add this with the first one, 2x plus 5. And I multiply it by the derivative of the second one, like this. So now we start taking the derivative of them. So the derivative of 2x plus 5 is just 2x cubed plus 2x plus 1. That's going to be the same and I have 2x plus 5 and the derivative of the second one is going to be 3x squared plus 2. And uh, if the problem asks you to simplify it, you can multiply uh, all these through and then get one polynomial as the final answer. But usually they don't ask for uh, simplifications. Okay, let's look at another example. So f of x is equal e to the x times sine of x and I want to take the derivative of this so this is mm, this is not uh, similar to the previous one uh, because you cannot simplify this and then take the derivative this is something that uh, you cannot uh, do anything with this except applying chain rule so if I take the derivative and applying chain rule to this I need to take the derivative of the first one times the second one plus the first one and then times the derivative of the second. So f prime of x, as we know, uh, the derivative of e to the x is going to be itself, so just e to the x sine x, and the derivative of sine x is going to be cosine x. And if you want, you can factor out e to the x, and then we have e to the x sine x plus cosine x. And that's going to be the derivative of this function. So let me show you one more example here of chain rule. So let's say f of x is ln x times uh, e to the x times tangent x. This is a little bit more difficult because instead of uh, having two terms, I'm dealing with the three terms. Three functions are being multiplied together. So that's going to be the same procedure. So let me write the formula if you have three functions that are being multiplied together. So like g of x times h of x times, uh, let's say, k of x. So the derivative for this is going to be like what I'm writing right now. So g prime x times h of x, k of x. So you take the derivative of the first one and you multiply it by the other two. And then um, uh, take the derivative of the second one, multiply by the other two. And then you take the derivative of the last one 
and you multiply by the other two like this so if I want to apply uh, the formula that I wrote to this function I take the derivative of ln x which is 1 over x times e to the x tangent x then I take the derivative of e to the x which is itself and multiply it to the two other functions and the derivative of the last one tangent x which is secant squared x and I multiply it to the other two and this is exactly the derivative of f of x using chain rule so you know how to apply the chain rule to the product of two functions or product of three functions and more so it doesn't really matter how many functions are being multiplied so you take the derivative of each at a time and then you multiply by the rest of the functions and you keep continuing until you have taken all the derivatives uh, I hope all you enjoyed and you learned enough until the next video I wish you the best and have a wonderful day goodbye